Hey you guys, welcome back to Being Really. I'm excited yet again for another word, you guys. The word is good. But I was discerning this. Let's pray, let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your power, your love, your self mind over our lives. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies that come new every morning, Father God. And we thank you for what you're doing in this hour. May we receive your word in its full measure that it may uh, penetrate our hearts, Father God, and allow us to continue to move forward in you and for the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So what I, I'm like ready to push this word out because it's so good. But yesterday, I, it's, it's almost as though like the Lord, I was speaking to the Lord. We were having a conversation. I was praying and instantly I just felt a shift happen. And I know a lot of you will understand what I'm talking about. I discern a shift that happened and this shift that's taking place is a shift of God moving abruptly. He is moving and expediting things so quickly, so, 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 so quickly. And the reason why God is moving quickly is because he has a plan and purpose for every single person. Um, yes, a lot will be exposed. A lot of people are going to be exposed. A lot of wickedness is going to come out. We're just going to, you're going to hear of a lot of news. You're going to hear of a lot of um, exploits and, and things like that. But for the Lord's just children, for the Lord's children that have been walking in his obedience and his faithfulness and his peace, you are going to reap your harvest of of full measures of double portions of your barns being filled with plenty and that's God and only God alone and so he's teaching us in this season how to humble ourselves so that when we receive we give him the glory that when we walk into our blessings when we walk into the promises of what he's been speaking over our lives that we know God did it that God is the one that is leading this thing that God is in the center because we're going to be a blessing to those around us that maybe lose hope and heart and love and are are losing just even the voice of God in their lives and people that maybe have not heard the voice of God. So he's using his remnant to push forward. He says the uh, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Meaning if you've been feeling like you are last, but you've been waiting and hoping and praying and rejoicing and submitting and surrendering and yielding before the Lord, he is pushing you forward to the front line because he is God and he is sovereign. He says we are the head and not the tail. So I want to encourage you guys with this word, take this word, take it back to the Lord, pray about it and let God really come into your heart. Let God come into your life today and, and, and whatever it is he's calling for you to do, if it's to be still, if it's to pray, if it's to, um, uh, whatever that looks like to you, God will speak that individually to you. Honestly, it's just, it feels like the shift that happened it was so, it's, it's evident. It is so evident. It's so spiritual. But when I say a shift happened, I just feel like whatever God is up to is big. And we're just going to continue to see his hand move and move and move and be sovereign over his children. And so I want to share this word with you guys. I pray that this word blesses you guys. Um, and again, pray over this word, take it back to the Lord. And I will talk to you guys soon. I love you guys. God bless you.